Hey guys, today I'm sharing another Clean With Me marathon and if you're new here or if you're unfamiliar with what this is exactly, it's basically where I have compiled several of my recent cleaning videos into one super duper long video that you can just put right up on your TV or your tablet or your phone and clean right along with me no matter what project you're working on. And that way you don't have to worry about having to change the video when one ends or find something new to keep you company while you work. You can just stay completely focused on your tasks while cleaning along with a friend. I've been sharing these cleaning marathon videos for almost three years now and you guys have absolutely loved them. And fun little fact, these were actually my husband Kyle's idea. I am so grateful to him because these have been such a game changer and something that I've loved to share with you guys. And it's been several months now since I posted the last one and I've been starting to get some requests for a new one so I wanted to go ahead and share another one today to help you get through whatever you have going on on your to-do list. And if you are not subscribed already, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I have lots of deep spring cleaning and decorating videos coming as well as new house projects and makeover videos and also lots more homemaking motivation filled with brand new recipes there's going to be something for everyone so you do not want to miss out on all of those videos coming up and before you jump into all of your work today I would love to hear if this is your first time watching one of my videos or if you're already a subscriber whether you comment all the time or you're a silent viewer by the way I was totally a silent viewer years ago before I started this channel so if you are a silent viewer I see you say hi in the comments I would love to chat but anyway I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and it gives you tons and tons of motivation and I hope you also enjoy the company today but without further ado let's get into it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a lot that I want to get done today. I got a new rug for Kyle's office, so I'm planning to attempt to do that by myself since Kyle's out today. And then also we are getting all of our walls painted, I think in about a week. And so I really need to double check and make sure that I pick the right color. So I'm actually gonna be painting on just like a few different walls, the color that I'm thinking we're choosing. And that way I can see it in like different lighting and on different, angles and just kind of make sure that it's the color that we we're hoping for or that we're kind of thinking it's going to be and then my biggest goal today is to tackle the kitchen and specifically my fridge i really want to clean that out for the new year get everything nice and functioning in there because i feel like that always happens towards the end of the year you have a lot of random food in there you have like you know get together food and it's just not all the things we always need plus it just kind of all gets shoved in there so there's not organization in there really at all so i want to go ahead and tackle that i also had gone to the grocery store yesterday and so i have a lot of food that i want to prep out and do all that stuff so we have a ton to get done let's go ahead and jump on into it I wanna hear you say yeah. So here is Kyle's office. This is Kyle's new chandelier. We got this, or I don't know if it's a chandelier, but anyway, it's his new light that we got kind of recently and we're loving it. It's so much nicer and so much more style than the one that was there before. But I want to add in a rug here and I've kind of gone back and forth in like the different sizing. I had insomnia so bad the other night. And so I was awake at like midnight in here measuring with the measuring tape. And I think that I figured out the right size. So fingers crossed. This one will be the final one that we'll love and it'll work really well for the space. But I just wanna do a quick, quick tidy in here and then we'll go ahead and add the rug in. I think I can do it by myself. Wish me luck.
So before I was able to put the rug down, I just started tidying up Kyle's office. I wanted to do a quick tidy in here, wipe down all the surfaces and everything just before putting in the rug. And that way I'd get to see the full effect of how it was going to look in the space because his office has definitely been neglected a little bit recently. And you guys will see the rug in just a minute, but I loved how it turned out. It turned out so good. And I was kind of going for a smaller size in here. I don't really know why. I just felt like the space couldn't really handle a full-sized eight by 10 rug. But when I was able to flip it, like kind of going long ways through the room, it worked perfectly. So I don't really know why it took me so long to figure that out. But like I said, I was having insomnia, which I still suffer from quite often. And sometimes when I'm struggling with that, I have the most random thoughts. And that night I happened to be thinking about the rug and it just like hit me that I could just flip it this way. So anyway, I measured everything out and I think it ended up looking really good in the space. And Kyle ended up loving the rug as well. He was kind of like torn on whether or not he wanted a rug, but I do really love adding rugs in rooms, especially when there's just hard floors. One, because it's very soft on your feet and it's just more cozy. And then another thing is I feel like it really grounds the room and it kind of pulls everything in and it helps make the room not look like you just have furniture kind of floating around. It just makes everything look much more intentional. So anyway, I just wanted to share kind of a little bit about why it's taken me so long to find a rug, but I'm so happy with the specific rug that I found. I really love the style of it and it's so, so soft on our feet. Of course, I will link this one down below in case if you really happen to love it too and want one for your home. It was also really well priced so there was really just so much that I loved about this rug. All right, the rug is all put in and I'm so thankful that it worked out because you guys know we like struggled finding a rug to fit this room and just the right kind and everything. Now that we have that checked off my list, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the paint and kind of paint on a few different walls and kind of see what we think. And then we're gonna move into the kitchen. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion. How come I pass this yet? Okay, so this paint color, it's just a sample, but it is Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. I don't know why. I just found this online and I've been like really loving it. In our last house, we had Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter everywhere. That's actually what we did in our master bedroom. We actually have a video on that, so I'll try to link that up here for you guys. We really love that color, but we're kind of just kind of seeing if we could do something a little bit different in this home. We talked about doing like a really nice off-white, but we also thought like that might be too much white or too much lightest. So this is kind of like, in my mind, a mix between the two. So I figure I'm gonna go ahead and like paint. <laughs> It'll look ugly for, you know, like a week or two until, or I guess just a week until we get it actually painted. But this way I can see how it looks like in the evening, in the daylight, like in the morning sun, just kind of all the time and see how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna be very careful not <laughs> to get any on our carpet, but we're gonna see what we think. You're not even gonna be able to tell on camera, I'm sure, but it's a very light color and it's just like, kind of like a stone to me. Are you doing this with your ghost? I wanna me that be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help, but if I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right, but we're the same. Even though I changed. Really made an effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. So I painted a few spots on our walls, just like different, like you can see that one back there, 
this is I think the one that's gonna make a huge difference I feel like our gray this is like a gray I'm not sure what color it is but the color that's on the walls right now it actually looks so much lighter on camera like even that looks so much brighter but in like in person it's pretty dark this is the best lighting of the day basically right now and so when we don't have the most perfect lighting in here it gets really really dark so I think this is gonna be really good actually at first I was like maybe it's a little bit too light but it does definitely have like a creamy tone like a stone kind of color to it so I think I think it's gonna look good I also put it in this corner this is like a really dark corner brought it over oh yeah on our stairwell so you can see this is like the tan like the base color of the house and so it's a little bit lighter than that not too much and then this is really dark in here like without light it's just super dark so i don't know i think i think i like it a lot but i'll wait till kyle gets home and we can kind of see it in the daytime and at nighttime and kind of all around but it's getting real our home is getting painted soon Felix like please pet me give me some love we are wondering if we should put like an accent wall in this room and I think we're also gonna do an accent wall probably in Kyle's office and my office so I think we're gonna do the same wall in Kyle's office but also you can see like there's my office right there and so you can see like that wall just continues on and so I think we're gonna maybe do the same wall in both offices and like the same color and everything so it just looks like it's continuing through so if you guys have any ideas on accent wall colors that's one that we really are not sure in this room i'll turn you guys around but we're just trying to figure out like which wall we would do an accent wall on just to kind of break everything up or if you guys think we don't need it i don't know we're kind of going back and forth but originally i was thinking maybe this wall right here like where our uh hall closet is and then like it would go up here but then just because it's like kind of out of the way it kind of divides the two rooms but then i was looking at it and i'm wondering if maybe this wall might be nice i don't know i'll turn you around let me know what you guys think things you never like try to make this better make this right but we're the same even though i changed really made an effort promise i would change but something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. All right, now that all that's done, we're gonna start tackling our kitchen. It's really not too bad. We actually have guests staying with us, Kyle's mom and sister, and their cutest little boy ever is staying with us right now. So I feel like our house is actually <laughs> kind of staying a little bit tidier. We're kind of staying a little bit more on top of things while they're here. But my fridge is a different story so i do have you know like some dishes to put away or to wash up the counters to wipe down but before we do that let me show you our fridge
how that's going, <laughs> especially when we go to the grocery store and it's full like this. I feel like there's such a good chance for things to go bad because things get pushed back behind everything. And so I want to tackle all of that. And I also want to make like healthy snacking and stuff just really, really easy. So there's a lot that I want to do in there. I did that before and I feel like it lasted for actually quite a while. But then whenever the holidays come, it just, everything goes out the window it seems. So we're going to tackle that. But first, let's get this cleaned up. Over the past few months, especially like during the holidays, I feel like every single time I go to unload the dishwasher or even just grab a drink or something, our cabinets are bursting. Not all of the cabinets really need it, but I am really excited to go ahead and declutter our kitchen specifically. But also I wanna kind of focus on a few other areas in our home, like our closet and just do like a pretty thorough whole house declutter in our home. Like I'd mentioned in previous videos, we moved into our home several months ago but whenever you move in, I feel like you have all these great intentions of like decluttering as you're packing or decluttering as you're unpacking. And while I feel like we kind of did that, we also felt very rushed. And so we didn't do the best job ever of decluttering. And so with that, when we were unpacking, we just kind of put everything in a place. And I did my best to put things away where they belong and where it would serve us best, but I have not ever gone through and like reorganized our kitchen cabinets. And I feel like they really could use it along with a really good declutter. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm actually going to be doing that this week. And of course I'll be filming it for you guys. So I cannot wait to just go through all of our kitchen cabinets and really declutter in there and then I also have some new organization items that I'm going to be using to kind of help organize the spaces and just make them function for us as best they can. kitchen and living room are looking so nice <laughs> i just had our robot vacuum go ahead and take care of the floors for me but it is honestly so tempting to just stop right here <laughs> get some other stuff done but kind of let this space stay clean but we are going to make it a whole lot dirtier before we are done with the day because it's time to pull everything out of the fridge give that a good wipe down I actually have to wash some bins. I had some bins that I used, I don't know, like a year or two ago, and I wasn't using them at the time of the move, and I don't know where they went. 
whenever we were moving I had them and then whenever we got here they were gone so I could never find them so I ended up reordering some of the same ones and I got some different ones but I'm just kind of trying out some different styles and kind of seeing what will work but I do have to wash all of those as well so let's go ahead and start by pulling everything out of the fridge I have everything taken out of the fridge and I've kind of tried to organize it a little bit. So actually everything on this top section is pretty much produce and things that I want to either prep out or put into the containers. Just so they're really nice and easy to grab. Right here, I don't know. I don't know what to say. We have a lot of condiments, pickles, applesauce. There's a lot of stuff. Here is a perfect example of why it really actually saves you money and so much time when you actually have an organized fridge because there is one, two, and three of the same exact one. Clearly I didn't think I had any in the fridge. They were probably shoved in the very back and so I just opened up a new one. That's the kind of thing. Like It will save you so much time and effort and money when you have your space organized. Anyway, moving along right here we have milks and things like that. This has not been organized and so like half of these are like half opened and we should not have opened another one but we didn't really know. A little bit of leftovers and then like some meat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe down the fridge really good and then start washing up those containers and let those dry. Actually maybe I'll wash up the containers first so they can be drying while I'm cleaning the fridge. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay so really quick I'm just gonna run through all the different ones that we have. So this is the one these are the ones that I used to have and like I said, I just cannot find them anywhere. But I like them because they are one, really big. They're also pretty affordable and they all have like a handle so it's just easy to pull in and out. They also have a lid, I don't know if I said that. And then on the bottom, they have like this little area where like basically any extra moisture and water can kind of soak to the bottom and it's not going to make your produce go bad faster. So this I thought would be perfect for juicing because Kyle and I are about to get back into juicing. We really do feel better when we juice, so we're gonna do like celery juice, then I have like a favorite juice. And then this I thought would be perfect. It's just a container with a lid, which I love because then I'm able to actually stack them on top of each other in the fridge. And my thought for these is to do things like grapes and carrots and just like really grab and go easy snacks. And then in here, oops. And then on this one, this is kind of like a mixture between the two. So it doesn't have the handle. It's a little bit sturdier than the bins with the handles, but it does also have that like bottom piece that goes in the bottom so that you're not having to like put paper towels down there or anything. So I thought I would definitely do one for lettuce and then I don't remember what I had planned for the other one right now, but I'm sure I will figure it out. Maybe like broccoli or something. So anyway, that's kind of the plan. I got all of these on Amazon, so I will link them down below, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash these up and then I'll work on the fridge.
As I'm sitting down to do this voiceover, it's been about a week or so since I actually went through and organized our fridge. So we've been able to kind of utilize our fridge for about a week. And so far I have to say I'm loving it. I've organized my fridge so many different ways, so many different times. And I think every time you do it, you really learn like things that really worked well for you. And at the same time, you learn just as many things that did not work. I've really organized my fridge almost too much if that makes sense and like there's basically no room for growth or no room for you know just kind of daily living in there and so it looks great right in the beginning and then as the weeks go on it just kind of falls apart so I've done that I've also not put like any organization bins in our fridge and it's just all kind of sitting in there and I feel like that doesn't work for us as well just because things kind of get lost and pushed in the back and there's not really a place for everything. And so this time I organized it kind of half and half. I feel like there's a lot of organization bins in there, but there's also not too many. And so there was enough like extra space in there that it's been able to really work like long term. So like I said, it's only been about a week, but I feel like this time I've kind of figured out a good mix that works really well for us. So that is a tip that I would definitely like to share with you guys is whenever you're reorganizing your space, whether it's a fridge like I'm doing today or a closet or something else, definitely add in some organization bins that can really help you organize your space, but be careful not to overdo it and just make sure to leave enough extra space that you can actually kind of grow with it. Okay, so I have everything kind of all organized in here, how I think I'm probably gonna end up doing it. Of course, until I get everything in, you know, things are definitely moving around a little bit more, but like I said, I'm gonna plan to use these ones with handles and I just don't have the lids in right now, but I'm gonna plan to use the ones with handles for juicing. And then this is gonna be like salad and probably something like broccoli where I like sometimes cook it, sometimes just snack on it, but either way, we usually have a lot of it. Um, these little containers I'm planning to use as like snacking bins. And then down here, I wanna have maybe like some meats, um, eggs, and then up here, I was gonna put things like pickles and like pepperoni peppers and things like that, just like the jarred stuff. And then I really wanna go through all of our condiments and just keep like the minimum that we really need and hopefully all those can kind of fit in here. So I'm kind of, and then I'll hopefully kind of have a lot of this shelf pretty free for leftovers and just kind of overflow. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then this will pretty much stay the same of how it is. It's kind of like the snack drawer for the kids. I did want to change one of these drawers to be like lunch meat and cheese instead of like having one for each. And then I really want to have go back to having one of them be like for produce because I've really missed having a produce drawer. I was thinking that I could just keep them in the fridge without a drawer, but it just doesn't work that well because of the humidity in there. And then also one other thing that I wanted to mention of why I got all of these specific drawers or containers is because a lot of them actually have the hole right here, but I wanted these to be 
I mean, they're not like perfectly airtight, but I wanted to be that I wanted them to be like semi airtight. So just keep things a little bit more fresh. So anyway, we are getting some good progress. Now it's time to start putting things in and then start food prep. Another tip I have as you're organizing a space or reorganizing a space is to kind of reimagine your space. A lot of times when we get organization items, we kind of stick to that and it's like we've done it once, you just keep going back and doing it again, kind of feeling like it's going to work this time. But if you have an organization item, if you've found that it isn't working, definitely go back in and reimagine your space. You can try pulling it out all together. You can try putting it in a different space. So for example, I've used a Lazy Susan in the top of my fridge and I feel like for a while it worked, but it's ended up really encouraging me to just fill that Lazy Susan up with more condiments. And so instead of adding back in the Lazy Susan, I'm actually not going to be including it in my fridge at all. And I'm just going to only allow for a certain number of condiments in a smaller area and kind of see if that helps us curb our condiment use and just help us like not accumulate so many condiments. Day on how everything's going. I had to actually go grab the kids. So they are home. I think they're in the backyard playing football. But I'm gonna turn around and kind of show you where everything's looking and then we will actually start prepping this stuff. <laughs> going to be like washing any of this this is just going to be for juicing so I don't need to be like quick grab and go but it is already prepped out like I've cut off any of the bad ends and all I have to do is literally wash it like run under the water and then go ahead and juice it so I'm doing that with the carrots and the celery for the cucumbers I'm actually gonna try I ordered one of the veggie washes that you guys had recommended to me in one of my videos I don't know kind of recent so it's just this one, but it's organic. It's fit, organic, fruit, and veggie wash. So I think I'm going to try it for the first time, especially because cucumbers, you know, have like that waxy feel on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the stickers off of these and get them soaking, and then I'll dry them off and stick them in there, and then we will start like doing the rest, or then we'll continue on with the rest of the prep. I 
Before putting all of the eggs away, I wanted to hard boil some of them. I really love having a few hard boiled eggs on hand just for salads or snacking. And I've shared this before, but if you love having hard boiled eggs all the time, this little dash egg cooker is amazing. It works so quick and easy. It's something that actually our kids know how to use. So if they want hard boiled eggs and I don't happen to have any in the fridge, they can go ahead and just make some themselves and it really takes no time at all. And it also cooks them perfectly every single time. So they just crack perfectly. I will have this one linked down in the description box, but I just find it over on Amazon. So like I said, if you hard boil your eggs a lot, I would definitely suggest checking this one out. Here I'm just starting to prep out some of our grapes and typically I kind of pull every single grape off of the stems and just have them washed and stored that way. But this time I decided to prep them out a little bit differently and I just basically cut them into little bunches and I'm loving it. This is another thing like just trying to reimagine how you do things. A lot of times we just get stuck in our ways and do things the same way day after day, but sometimes it doesn't serve us the best. So this is just another little example but I've loved this because it's really, really easy to do. It's a lot quicker to do. And it also is easier to just grab a little bunch and put it in a bowl. I think that's something that I've actually just realized is it's not always about these really big changes you can make in your life, but all the little tiny small changes are things that really add up to making a big change overall. This little container I'm just using for a whole snacking container. So we have a few different veggies, just perfect for grab and go snacks, but they're already washed and prepped out and it just takes all of the work out of it. These are definitely some of our favorite healthy snacks like the baby carrots and peppers, cucumbers, sugar snap peas. They're perfect for grab and go. But let me know in the comments, what are some of your favorite healthy snacks? Finally all done. Everything is nice and prepped out. The fridge looks so good and I feel like it's so inviting to kind of like snack in here and also cook and everything in here. So I'm gonna kind of turn you around and show you a little overview of how everything's looking. And then um, once I'm done showing you the fridge, we have a little bit of extra work to do in the kitchen, but then we should be good for the day. Okay, so this is how everything is looking. I love it so, so much. Down in here, it's kind of the same. We have like some gluten-free tortillas, um, some bacon, some bubbly, which is like sparkling, flavored sparkling water. Then I have hard boiled eggs, yogurt. We still have this stuff left over from Christmas and some more snacks and things. And then on the sides, we pretty much just have like some little condiments and some cooking items like ginger and broth and everything and over on this side we have like breakfast items we have like whipped cream maple syrup here is all the condiments that i kept i ended up uh where is it it's in the back i ended up kind of consolidating all of those <laughs> into one and then right here we just have like some creamer and milk in this main section this is where i've kind of consolidated all of like our jars of things so i have pickles some salsa olives all that kind of stuff like salad toppings and things 
here is just some leftovers and then back in this bin is just like some veggie overflow so we have like kale for juicing some uh, some corn and then here is like random items like sour cream guacamole applesauce down in here is basically i'm gonna have to change this out but it's just like cheese and lunch meat and things like that then over on this one is all of our extra produce. So like apples for grab and go for the kids, anything that I'm like cooking with that week. So we have a lot of mini cucumbers just for snacking. I just didn't have room in one of those bins. We have some green bell peppers, some ginger for juicing and some avocados in there. And then this is my favorite section. So down in here, we just have our eggs. We have all of our meat in a drawer or in a container. And then these are like our snack bins. So in here we have grapes. And then on this one, we have a bunch of things. We have like baby carrots, we have sugar snap peas. And in the very back, we have those little baby um, peppers. And then right here, we just have a salad mix. Here is all of our juicing right in the middle. So we have uh, celery right here, then we have carrots and some cucumbers. And then over on this side, I just have things like I cook with or snack a lot. So here is some broccoli. almost forgot. I feel like it's just been one of those days <laughs> where my brain has not been really cooperating well with me. I wanted to juice today before like everything gets crazy in the week. I got all the counters wiped down. I still have some dishes, but before I do all the dishes, I might as well get juicing and then I can just wash that up too. But that way it just kind of motivates us and we don't just like have all that produce in there and we're not, you know, feeling motivated to do it. We'll have a little bit to start out. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make our favorite or one of our favorite juicing recipes really quick and then we'll get everything nice and cleaned up. So first I wanted to mention our juicer because anytime I've juiced in my videos, I get a lot of questions about what juicer I have. So I will have it linked down below. I think I have it saved in my Amazon favorites actually. It is a masticating juicer, so it's cold pressed. Like you're not gonna be losing any nutrients from the heat of the juicer. And it also seems to get more juice than our old juicer got. So I think that's definitely a win, but I really, really love this one. 
and the juicing recipe that I'm using, it's not like a full juicing recipe, but basically we just add in carrots, apple, cucumber, and then we also add in some lemon and ginger. The ginger gives it like a little spice, but it's so healthy for you. It just gives you so many different nutrients and it's really, really fresh and yummy tasting. But there's so many different recipes online to choose from. I know there's so many combinations that our family hasn't even tried, but if you have any favorite juicing recipes, I would love if you would share them with me in the comments. I know my mom is always trying new juicing recipes Recipes and love sharing this with me too. So if you have any favorites, I would love to hear about them. That is going to be everything for today's video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this one. I hope it gave you lots of motivation and inspiration for cleaning out your own fridge and just finding more healthy foods to enjoy. And above all, I just hope that you enjoyed having the company today. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me. I feel like the beginning of this year has kind of gotten off to a rocky start for so many of us with so much sickness going around, but I'm so excited for all of the new videos that I have planned for you guys, and I cannot wait to share it all so i hope you guys have the most amazing day don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already and that way you don't miss out on any of the future videos i have planned and i will see you in my next one bye guys Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be decluttering and organizing my kitchen. It is in dire need of it, both purging and also just organizing everything that we do use. But I'm currently standing outside on our back patio because we are having electrical work done inside. The kids are home, so it's very noisy in our home. So even though it's gonna be a little bit chaotic in there, once I'm done, our kitchen is going to feel so peaceful. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Before starting the decluttering process, I always try to clean my space first. Decluttering can be such an overwhelming and kind of chaotic process, even though once you're done, you feel amazing, but the whole process of it can just be kind of crazy. And so I really feel like it is totally worth it just to take a little bit of time beforehand to go ahead and tidy up your space and just make sure that you're starting with a clean slate. It makes everything way more manageable and just a lot less overwhelming because whenever you do something that's really overwhelming, it makes it very easy to quit. And I don't 
don't ever like quitting a decluttering process in the middle of it, of course, because then you're just kind of left with a bunch of chaos. So because we are going to be decluttering my entire kitchen today, I'm just going to be making sure that I'm cleaning up the kitchen and tidying up the counters and everything, also putting away any dishes so I can go ahead and declutter those or organize them. And then I'm also going to be focusing on cleaning off the table. And I'm doing that because that is where I'm going to be storing all of the items that we're going to plan to declutter and get rid of. Nothing's all you need When you're stripped of all your armor You can finally feel the breeze We're living in the moment We ain't got pockets full of money But we're rich in other things This highway is our living room We're swimming in the mystery So as many of you know, we were recently sick. That's actually why I skipped an upload, I think two weeks ago. We ended up getting sick with COVID. We had not been sick with that the entire last two years but it finally caught us and it was pretty rough. I don't know how many of you have actually dealt with COVID personally, but it was definitely a bit rough for us. And it's so crazy because I think some people get it really intense and then others like don't even know that they have it. So it's just such a crazy, crazy thing. If you or any of your loved ones have had it or are going through it recently, I hope that they're feeling better and Hopefully we can just all get some immunity to this and hopefully soon enough it can be a thing of the past. And then I think we actually ended up getting something else like another bug, maybe the flu or something because we had COVID and then we were testing negative and we were still kind of having like some minor symptoms of that. But then we kind of like came down with something all new. I don't really know what it was, but it's been a rough beginning of the year. I just have to say it's not gone as planned at all, but it's okay. We're kind of like picking up the pieces and just continuing on now that we've had a few weeks of sickness in our home. But the reason that I wanted to kind of update you guys on that is because in my last video, it was a homemaking video and I shared some of the paint colors that we were going to be painting in our house. Well, we were actually scheduled to have that done on January 10th. And because we got sick with COVID, we of course told the painters and everything and they ended up postponing until the beginning of February. So I'm pretty bummed out that we got pushed so far, but I totally understand. And that's just kind of how things go. So we are still planning on getting everything painted in our house, but it's not happened yet. And I really just cannot wait to see everything so much brighter in our home. It's just gonna make such a difference. So as soon as that happens, I'll definitely update you guys. But as of right now, I think it's gonna be like February, 7th or something like that.
The very last thing to do in my kitchen before starting the decluttering process is just to wipe down the countertops. Today I'm just using my e-cloth general purpose cloth to clean everything off. I feel like this is typically what I opt to use on a daily basis just because it's so convenient and it's also able to disinfect the counters. But sometimes I do want to add a little scent as I'm cleaning and so on those days I will just use like my favorite all-purpose cleaner or something. It just really kind of depends on whatever mood I'm in. kitchen is all nice and tidy so now we're gonna go ahead and start pulling everything out I think I'm gonna do one cabinet at a time and like declutter and organize each cabinet as I go I just feel like that's gonna be the most I don't know probably the easiest way to do it and the most efficient so before we get going with that I'm gonna show you what's inside all the cabinets and kind of show you where we're starting out In the past, I have shared so many decluttering videos from our last house in Utah. I have actually done a whole house decluttering series. We did that right before we moved here to Arizona. So if you are kind of looking for even more decluttering inspiration and ideas and more organizing ideas, I will go ahead and leave that playlist linked down below for you so you can go ahead and check that out. But I typically like to declutter about once a year. Of course, like I'll do kind of random declutters throughout the year. I'll kind of get rid of different things here and there, but I really love to do one full declutter on pretty much every room in the house or at least most of the rooms or at least like the troublesome areas. I like to do that at least once a year. It just helps me kind of go through everything, clean everything out, reorganize anything that needs, and then of course, get rid of anything that we are not using and kind of clear our space a little bit. of my worst cabinets it's our drink cabinet or like our cup cabinet and it's just really gotten overrun so this is a huge one for me and then honestly like some of the like junk cabinets I guess not junk but like they're just not organized and then a bunch of my drawers are rough so let's tackle this one next
All right, who else has an extensive mug collection? Mine is totally unintentional. I wouldn't say that I collect mugs or anything, but clearly I have way too many. I just kind of accumulate them. I think because they're pretty affordable typically, it's just something kind of like fun to pick up at the store when you're out or something, or if you see something online, but I definitely needed to just really go through them and be a little bit more picky and just only keep the ones that we really love, the ones that we're always grabbing for and let the rest go to someone else that could use them. And I have to say, this has been one of the cabinets that I just dread opening up whenever we're putting dishes away or whatever. It's just so overflowing. And just like anything else, just like when you're cleaning, if you can find a domino chore or a domino area to go ahead and tackle first when you're decluttering, it works just the same. So if there is like a really big area that really stresses you out every time you mess with it, Go ahead and try tackling that first and that way you can see that problematic area and the finished product of that right away and you can kind of use that as a snowball effect to go ahead and motivate you just to continue on. So in this cabinet, it looks like I have a ton of random dishes, but we do have outdoor dishes and daily dishes and then also serving wear all in this cabinet. And the outdoor dishes aren't breakable. And since we do spend so much time outside, I really like having two different sets of dishes. But one tip that might sound kind of funny or weird coming from a decluttering video is to not over declutter or don't declutter something just for the sake of decluttering. I have definitely done this in the past and kind of gone too crazy with decluttering and I get rid of too much. And then it just kind of ends up leaving a void and I find myself wanting that item back and usually repurchasing it. Definitely declutter anything that you're not using. Be real with yourself. Try your best not to hold on to everything. But at the same time, if you really are using something and you have the space for it, don't just go crazy and declutter everything because often you will end up regretting that. So that's just like one of those random little tips, but I am sharing that from experience. Don't declutter just to declutter. In some of these cabinets that you see me tackling right here, you'll see I'm doing a little bit less decluttering and actually more cleaning and reorganizing. And that's because like I'd mentioned earlier, I really like to declutter at least once a year and some spaces I'm fairly good at not repurchasing items and just kind of reaccumulating things. Others, like my mug cabinet, not so much. I definitely need to work on that one. But it is really nice when I am decluttering these spaces to still just make sure to go through these areas, even the ones that I don't think really need them, because it gives me the opportunity to wipe everything down. And also you might find one or two things that you don't use in those cabinets, and those few little items really end up adding up.
Once again, I am looking to you guys. You guys always have the best tips to share with me. So I actually wanted to take out the sticky drawer liner that the previous owners had added into these drawers but I think they've just been on for so many years that they were actually leaving a really sticky film whenever I started to pull them up. So I left them for now, but eventually I do want to go back and just tackle those drawer liners. But if you have any tips on how to get rid of the sticky residue without ruining the wood in the drawers, definitely let me know in the comments. I would be so grateful to hear any of your tips that you might have for this. So I think some spaces really don't need organizers if they're empty enough, like some of my cabinets up above, but for drawers or for really overfilled cabinets or things that have like a lot of small items, I just find that for me, it does stay so much nicer, so much longer when I kind of heavily organize them into small little compartments and I just have a specific space for each item. So for example, in like my utensil drawer, I really love these organizers that I picked up from Ikea. They have so many small organization slots and it just works so, so well, just having every little item have their own spot and things don't get shuffled around in the drawer that way. Okay, we are making quite a bit of progress. I have all of these cabinets gone through, all of these cabinets and drawers gone through. A lot of those I didn't really have to do much to because I've decluttered quite a bit in the past and I think I've learned in some areas not to replenish some things. So in some areas it was not too bad. And then others like these, like I didn't have to do much to it other than kind of clean it up with shelf liners. Um, but I'll show you my stash that I have going on so far on the table. And then we're gonna start working on <laughs> that whole section is really rough. And the butler's pantry in there is pretty rough. So I'll turn you around, show you what we got so far, and then we'll continue on. You got me going up. If you've been here for a while and you remember shortly after moving in, I actually set up this cabinet off to the left with a full school lunch section. I had done the same thing in Utah and it worked out really, really well. But right after I had organized this area, we ended up finding out that school lunches were free this year. And so our kids will sometimes take lunch from home, but typically they're just eating hot lunch at school. And so this little area just does not get utilized. And so here I'm just going to kind of downsize it and make sure that I'm not just keeping everything that we don't really use or need.
Oh gosh. All right. No judgment. These are our two junk drawers. I know we had two of them. It's ridiculous. But I really wanted to not only declutter these, but actually do some intense organization so that this drawer stood a chance on staying functional. And you'll see that in just a minute, but I first started out by pulling everything out of the drawers and wiping it down, of course. And as I was pulling everything out, I sorted things into three different piles. One was for keep, one was for get rid of, and then one was for putting things away where they actually went. So I found these customizable organizers on Amazon as well as this little battery organizer. Both are saved in my Amazon favorites, which are always linked down in the description box. But I love this battery organizer because we have batteries floating all around the house, but no great space to organize them. And it also has like a built-in tester so we can actually test if any of the batteries have gone bad or if they're old batteries. And then as for the other organizers, I really love that they were very customizable. They came in all different shapes and sizes and they were actually really affordable for how many you got. Like it was way better deal than going to Dollar Tree. They can be organized in so many different ways and I really love that they had so many small compartments. And that's what I was talking about earlier. It just makes such a difference when you have a lot of little items like this that every individual item just has their own space it's amazing how much longer things will stay organized when you do it this way Moving on to our second junk drawer, which I'm actually going to be converting into a tea drawer. We love having herbal teas. And so since this was right below our Keurig, I thought this would be the perfect spot to keep all of our teas. So I'm just using these little customizable dividers. As you can see, you can really make them fit whatever space you have and move the little dividers to fit whatever space you need. But I love how this drawer turned out. It's so functional. It looks really nice and it just worked out so, so well. So it is a new day. I had to actually put the kitchen on pause last night because Luke had football practice and I had to end up taking him. And then by the time we got home, it was just way too late to continue on. So I figured I would go ahead and just start fresh today. But as you saw, we got a lot of the cabinets done. We pretty much just have like these upper cabinets right here. I actually don't think I have anything in that one because I can't really reach it. Um, so I do have to tackle those ones. And then also, coming into our butler's pantry. I have to tackle basically all of that because I didn't get in here at all. So we have a few upper cabinets up here and then also these drawers are quite a mess. And then I think down below is just really like not 
well utilized space. And I also, oh my gosh, I got a new bread box because this bread box has been driving me nuts. Like at first it was working really well and now it's like such a struggle. You pretty much have to do it two handed. It's just like a whole thing. But our cats get into our bread if we just leave it out on the counter. But anyway, I got a new bread box. So I'm gonna be organizing that and just kind of going through and making sure that the counter space and all of this is nice and organized and of course decluttered. So we have a little bit more to do today, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. Try to get some money for some stuff that I need. Swear the ATM machine was laughing at me. Your girl been running on empty. But I don't let it affect me. There are days that I consider moving back home. But every day I do my gut keeps telling me no. Your girl been running on daydreams. But that's just how my brain be. I don't need your doubt. No, I don't need your doubt. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to pause on this cabinet because I actually, this is where like, I just have not organized so much in this kitchen. Like this cabinet has, is kind of like where we used to keep a lot of like the drink items and random things like that. Let me see. This pretty much has like my like snack stuff. Um, and then I have like some gluten-free snacks in here and like, I don't know, random other stuff, some supplements, whatever, <laughs> just all the things. So we used to have our Keurig right here, which is why we had all the drink stuff, but then I felt like that space over here was just more, it made more sense to have the Keurig and everything over there and we really like that. So that's why I think I'm going to move every, like all the drink stuff over here. So. We're gonna pause for a minute. We're gonna start working on this cabinet right here and kind of move things over and then we'll continue on. These cabinets that I'm working on right now have felt so random ever since moving in. And like they kind of lacked an obvious purpose but when i'm done with them they are going to be set up in a really functional way and be organized for easy use it feels kind of like i'm cleaning out multiple junk drawers today but i am really gaining so so much useful space I would love to know if you have any decluttering or organizing projects you're planning to tackle in the coming months. The new year is always so motivating for me and just inspiring to kind of transform your spaces and aspects of your life. 
So I definitely would suggest just taking advantage of the new year. I know it's really the same as any other time, but it really is just like a fresh start. And I just think if you're feeling a little bit motivated, just like you get motivated to deep clean your house in the spring for spring cleaning, do the same thing with your home in the beginning of the year and just go through and declutter things, organize things, and just make your space and your home what you want and what you need for it to serve you best. So the last cabinet that I organized has a lot of like my snacks or just basically anything that's totally gluten-free. That way I know that if I'm going in there, I can have anything in there and I don't really have to worry about it or check the labels. Also, it won't get eaten up by the rest of the family, which is nice since they don't really eat gluten-free. But this cabinet is going to be mostly storage around the house and just things like light bulbs and random things like that. Here, I am just taking a few moments to put together that bread box. I love this one so much. I wish I had found this one before I had ordered the other one because like I had showed in the beginning of this video, that other bread box was just a struggle. I really loved it at first and it quickly just kind of became something that didn't really work very well. And this one is so amazing. I'm loving it so much. These organizers right here are one of the things that I was most excited about for the entire kitchen. I've actually had them sitting in my Amazon shopping cart for months and I finally got them for Christmas and they have just totally transformed this drawer and I really actually want to try the same style ones for my foil and parchment paper. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna pick those up but I'm really excited for that just because now that I've seen all the difference that these bamboo organizers can make in all my drawers, I just cannot wait to finish transforming the rest of the drawers that I didn't get around to today. These dividers are the same ones that I used in the tea drawer. I really just love how versatile they are. If ever I want to change things out and use them in a different way, 
I can just move them to another drawer, use more of the little sideways dividers. I really love anything that's very versatile like this because if at some point they don't become functional in the space, I can always move them around. I'm not like wasting money or having to buy new things. I can use them in a different way and give more function to another space. Here are some more cabinets with more random things put in them. I ended up actually decluttering enough and consolidating the rest of the items in here and just organizing them in a way where I had enough space to empty out an entire set of cabinets. And I'm loving that because I don't really know what exactly we're gonna use for that. Maybe we'll use it as like pantry overflow or organizing different upcoming projects. I'm not really sure, but it's always nice just to have like that full on extra space. And I'm really happy that I was able to organize this in such a nice way that I was able to grab that much extra space now. So here are all of the before and after shots. As you can see, I'm not sharing every single cabinet just because you guys would be here for several more minutes, but I wanted to share like all of the biggest transformations or some of my favorite spaces that we did today. It is so incredible to see the difference and just feel the difference in our kitchen. I feel like it's able to breathe a bit. I feel like everything is really serving us very well right now. And I love that we were able to accomplish all of this. It just makes such a huge difference in like our daily life in our kitchen. So before the video is over, I did want to share one more quick tip with you guys. I typically share this in like all of my decluttering videos just because it's something that has really stuck with me over the years. But Whenever I'm decluttering, a lot of times I'll kind of grab onto things and I like don't really want to get rid of them. Not necessarily because I love the item, but because I had spent money on the item or I had purchased it in the past and I felt like it was wasteful to get rid of it. But my tip for you guys is don't keep something because you spent money on it in the past or because you feel like it's wasteful to get rid of it. If you are not using it and it's not serving you now, it's going to continue to cost you. It might not cost you monetarily, but it's going to cost you the time that it takes to clean it or take care of it. It's going to cost you space in your home. And it's also going to cost you that stress of always feeling that guilt whenever you see the item that you're not using it. So if you are not using something, just let it go. Know that it can go to someone else and they can actually get good use out of it. 
And in the end, you are going to gain so much from that. You are going to gain more space. You are going to gain more peace of mind and just overall you will be happier without those things so anyway i really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it gave you lots of decluttering motivation lots of organizing ideas and some cleaning motivation as well and of course i hope you enjoyed the company today thank you so much for hanging out with me today do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are not a part of the family, I would love for you to subscribe and join the family and just not miss out on any future videos that I share. I have lots of new videos planned for you guys and I cannot wait to share them all. I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hello, hello. So today we are going to be doing one of my doing enough style videos. Basically, I have a long to-do list of things to get done today. I'll turn you around and show you. I don't think you guys can see. It's just all whited out. But basically, I have a lot on my to-do list to get done today. So I figure I'm going to take you guys along with me as I do it. But at the end of it, just I feel like I'm always doing this. And so this is kind of why I've created these doing enough videos. Whenever I'm done tackling my to-do list, but I haven't quite finished everything, I feel like I just am negative towards it. I beat myself up about it, like, oh, I should have gotten more done. And instead of that mindset, I'm going to get anything that I can done on this. And if I don't finish everything, I am going to know that I'm doing enough. I'm knowing that I've done enough and that I'm good. So it's just kind of like shifting that mindset from negative to a positive and just like reinforcing that you are doing enough. So anyway, enough chit chat. I have a lot to get done. Like I said, I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we have going on and then we'll hop to it. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is actually packing up everything that we are donating. Last week's video, I went through our whole kitchen, decluttered everything, organized everything because we have been just kind of recovering from being sick. I haven't actually made it to the thrift store yet to donate everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these into some laundry baskets and get them donated. I want to start kind of cycling through some laundry because we have got backed up on that. And then of course I want to kind of tidy everything up. We're gonna start taking down Christmas. I feel like I'm the last person who has not done Christmas yet or taken it down and I am doing a juice fast this week for I think three days it's actually just from like a juice bar here local to us normally I do juice fast I like to do them maybe once a year a lot of times I'll just do them myself this is my first time actually like doing them through something somewhere these ones are really nice you get six every day I'm gonna show you and they're just different juices throughout the day typically when I do a juice fast I will just make like one big juice and I'll drink on that the whole day. The next day I'll make one more big juice and kind of drink on that. But this will be fun just to have like a different variety like throughout the day. I did start drinking my first one. It's a celery juice, which I know like celery juices are the best tasting, but this one has like lemon and mint and it's not my favorite, but I'm chugging it down. The next one we have is turmeric citrus. It has orange, grapefruit, lemon, agave nectar, turmeric, and black pepper. So there we go. Anyway, that's the next one we have today. But like I said, we have a lot to get done. So let's get to it. You might be the one that truly get me. And I might be the one you
So Luke is actually homesick right now. He's just watching a show in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just heat him up some soup. He had that request yesterday, so I went ahead and got him some soup, just like canned soup. And then while that's heating up, I'm gonna start just kind of rinsing this out just so when I'm ready to use it, it is all ready to use. I don't have to like clean it or anything. And then wipe down the counters, and I think the kitchen should be good to go. So if you are new to my channel or you didn't see my previous doing enough video that I shared I think at the end of last year, I'm going to link that up above for you guys so you can go ahead and check it out. I definitely plan to do more of these just because the response from you guys on my last one was so positive. I was feeling like I'm not the only one that struggled with this and from the comments in that video, I definitely was not. This is just something that we all do, or at least a lot of us do. If you've been here for a while, you guys know I love mindset. I love talking about it and just kind of working through that. I feel like so many of our daily struggles have to do with our mindset. We can always make things a little bit better off if we have a more positive mindset. And I feel like these doing enough videos just kind of touches on one of the elements of mindset. So I really hope that this video can uplift you Give you some company today but also just kind of remind you that whatever you are doing whatever you have to do on your to-do list whatever you are tackling or at the same time whatever you have not been able to tackle don't worry pat yourself on the back tell yourself you're doing an amazing job because you are and remind yourself that you are definitely doing enough So we are all finally getting over sickness. I've shared in the last couple of videos that our family has kind of been battling sickness in the beginning of 2022. It has just been a bit of a rough start to the year and just a bit of a rough month. But now we are finally getting back into routines very slowly and we're actually starting to feel like ourselves, which has been such a relief. Luke was the very last one of us to get sick. He ended up getting the flu and that's why he was home that day. Now we are pretty much all recovered, which is so nice. But while I am working in our living room today, I wanted to talk to you guys about paint again. We are actually having the painters come in about a week or so now and we're actually thinking about painting our built-ins because the color that we've chosen is the pale oak. You can kind of see that compared to the built-ins and just how they're really not going to end up meshing well. So maybe not right away but we are thinking of painting the built-ins that evergreen fog color that you can also see on the walls and we're thinking that that would look really nice and just kind of contrast well with the fireplace. I'm also talking about painting our island kind of a two-tone as well with that evergreen fox. So I would love to hear kind of your thoughts on it or if you guys have any other ideas. That's not going to be like a right now thing probably in the coming months, but I'm so excited just for like the thoughts of all the changes that we're making. Such a liar, singing out 
So I'm kind of going through all of my Christmas decor and I really want to go through it all and just make sure that I'm only keeping about two tubs. Minus I do have like a separate tub just for garland and things like that, but for everything else, I wanna get it into two tubs. So anything that I think I won't use or that I didn't use this year and I don't think I'll use next year, um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and see if like any of my sisters want it. And then if not, I'll go ahead and donate that, but that way I can just like keep everything within like a reasonable amount. I feel like I am the last one to be putting away Christmas decor like the end of January. That's just how it went this year. I had all these good intentions, but you know, you gotta roll with it. But it does feel so good to have everything decluttered and put away. And now our built-ins are looking so, so bare. They're not looking very inviting or cozy. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and just decorate for spring a little early since I typically don't decorate for like Valentine's Day specifically. I just kind of decorate for a general spring. And I thought that would actually work well because especially here in Arizona, we are starting to get into some nice spring weather during the daytime and I'm loving it. But since it is kind of early in the year, I would love to know if you would like to go ahead and see a spring decorate with me video because I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. So so I can definitely film that for you guys if you're interested. And also I have gotten some comments and messages about when our guest room makeover will be shared. We're just waiting on paint to finish it up. So it's looking like the middle of February is when you can kind of expect that video. But let me tell you, it's turning out so good. It's about halfway done right now and it's going to be so worth the wait. Forgetting like random, <laughs> like I keep forgetting like random places like that that have more Christmas decor. I have a few more on the front porch, so I'll grab those and then we'll finish packing it.
All the Christmas stuff is taken down and like the main living area is all clean so oh, there we go now I'm actually going to meal plan for the week it's Tuesday right now but we were just eating leftovers yesterday so I'm gonna meal full meal plan for the rest of the week especially since I'm not gonna be eating I want to make sure that I have everything like planned out for Kyle and the boys so I'm gonna gonna go through my little meal ideas, I guess. I don't know, I shared it in a previous video. I'll try to link it up here if you guys haven't seen that one, but I'm gonna go ahead and meal plan real quick and then we'll head to the grocery store. Okay, so I'm just kind of planning it out for what I know is gonna be like our busy nights, like Tuesday and Thursday we have football, Friday we have football actually. I'm not gonna be eating on these nights and I'm gonna be pretty busy later tonight and then Mondays. Already done, it was just leftovers. So that's why I kind of like organized it this way and this one is one of my favorites, just like burrito bowls. I love them and so I'm gonna put them later on in the week so I can actually enjoy them as well and not have to just cook them up and miss out on enjoying them since I am going to be doing my juice fast. But that's what we're gonna do for meals this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out my list and then we'll head to the grocery store. I just got home and I wanted to update you guys on the juice fast. So I have not been hungry like all day long. That's why I have six juices and it's almost four o'clock now. 
and I've only just now like drank two of them. I still have four more to go. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish all of them today or if I'll save them for another day, I'm not really sure, but until I walked into the grocery store and I was thinking like, this would be so great, like I'll get everything for everybody else. I won't be tempted by anything because like I'm not eating for half the week. And then I walk in the grocery store and I'm like, oh my gosh, everything looks so good. I'm like so starving. Yeah, it was not good, but I stuck mostly to my list. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything out of the bag bring it inside and then I'll show you kind of what we got and what our plans are for it. Alright you guys, it has been a while since I've done a grocery haul. I know this isn't like a full-on grocery haul video, but still, it's been a while. So. Before we jump into everything, I'm gonna tell you guys what we're having for dinner this week, even though you did see the menu board, but just to kind of keep it all together, we'll do that real quick. On Monday, we had leftovers. Tuesday is going to be breakfast for dinner. Wednesday is bow tie pasta. We are going to be having barbecue chicken sandwiches on Thursday, pizza and movie night on Friday as always, burrito bowls on Saturday, and cauliflower soup on Sunday. First thing I picked up was not on my list, but I noticed that the cats were getting low on food. This was $1.99 at Aldi. It wasn't even on sale. It was just like their regular price. So I decided to try it out. I also got some burger buns for the barbecue chicken sandwiches. These are the best buns ever. Then I just got some sandwich bread for the kids to make sandwiches. I also grabbed a few of these little Lunchables. So I grabbed three of those for the kids. Then I picked up some green beans. This is going to be for that bow tie pasta or the green bean and chicken pasta. If you haven't seen that video, I will try to link that one up here for you guys. So good. The next thing I got are these two bags of pretzels. If you go to Aldi, these are the pub style pretzels. They taste just like the Dots pretzels, except they're a fraction of the price. Then I picked up some of this. It's like spicy ramen. My dad actually lives in Japan. His wife is Japanese. The end of 2019, she made us like legit ramen. Ever since then, we're always just like trying to find ways to make legit ramen again. It was so yummy. So I thought Kyle would love this. The next thing I picked up are some granola bars just for the kids for snacking and like taking them to school. I also got two of these packages of reusable applesauces. These were such a good deal. Like even I think they're better than Costco. I think it was like $5.45 or $4.45 for a 12 pack. Everywhere else is like $10 it seems which we pretty much don't get them because they're kind of a rip off unless I find them on sale. So this is definitely a great deal Aldi. The next thing I got is just some oat milk. We typically either do almond milk or oat milk. I am about out of almond milk I think we had last. So I went ahead and just picked up some oat milk. The next thing I got is smoothie. It's Bolt House Farm strawberry banana. Typically we don't get this and this wasn't on my list, but sometimes I like to have this on hand in the fridge just for like quick mornings and I can get a little bit of extra like nutrients in the kids right before they go to school. I also got some salsa. I haven't ever gotten this brand before or like this style. I always add this in when I make taco meat, which I make usually once a week. If you add in salsa into it, it makes it, it just takes it to the whole next level. It's so delicious. I also picked up two two cans of soup. Luke actually requested these since he hasn't been feeling well. This is something that I have not gotten before. It's cauliflower crackers, gluten-free and vegan, meaning there's no dairy in it. I'm excited to try it for me. I just have not seen anything like this. I also picked up two mangoes because as always, Aldi did not disappoint and they were like 79 cents each. I went ahead and picked up a pack of green onions. This is just gonna go on top of the cauliflower soup. That soup is so delicious. If you like cauliflower, it's amazing. Some bananas, we always have bananas on hand in our house just for snacking. Sometimes we'll put them in smoothies and sometimes I will make banana ice cream. It's super delicious, but no matter what, we always have bananas on hand. I also picked up some berries, just some strawberries. I wanted to get some of the raspberries, but they were pretty pricey today. So I picked up these. These are just gonna be for snacking and then also for breakfast for dinner. The next thing I picked up are some bell peppers. I love getting them in this little container like this with all three of them, just because it's typically a much better price. And those are either gonna be for snacking or for cooking. And then I also grabbed some green bell peppers. The next thing I got is some celery. I wanted to get some of this for juicing actually for Kyle, since he's not gonna be doing the juice with me, 
but as he's kind of like recovering from being sick, I just figured celery juice would be perfect for that. I also got a bag of Gala apples. I like to get some smaller ones just so we can go ahead and snack on them and not have to worry about waste. I got some ranch just for dipping for the kids. And I also picked up some baby carrots and these are just gonna be for snacking on throughout the week. All right, these are the type of pasta that I got for the bow tie pasta meal. We always call it bow tie pasta because we used to always make it with like just bow tie pasta. Now we kind of make it with whatever pasta we have. And then this one is a gluten-free version. This one was brown rice and quinoa penne pasta so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. If you guys have any recommendations on like a really good gluten-free pasta, let me know in the comments. I'm always searching for one. I just have not found it yet. I got also these honey gold bite-sized potatoes and I just figured these would be perfect, really easy to just slice up into maybe quarter them and then roast them in the oven. The next thing I grabbed was some quinoa and then I also got some basmati rice. Also picked up a couple packages of chicken. This is going to be for the barbecue chicken and then also the bow tie pasta. But the next thing I got is this frozen cheese ravioli. It's so good to just have on hand. All our kids like it, Kyle loves it. I will get like a tomato sauce and I'll just season it up. And I love to get like a jarred Alfredo sauce and then add that in and it's so delicious. So if you have like a really busy night or something, it's just the perfect go-to dinner. This was something we have not ever gotten before but it's toasted raviolis they're just frozen it looks like something i could just pop in the air fryer and i thought this would be perfect for once the kids get home from school one day if they're just wanting a snack this would be a great snack for them also got some bacon and this is going to be going for the bow tie pasta or chicken and green bean pasta whatever you want to call it i went ahead and picked up some frozen chicken breasts i also wanted to try these out they're basically like the jimmy dean breakfast sandwiches i think but like the croissant ones our kids really like these on busy mornings they're perfect just like pop in the microwave and then they're good to go okay these two items are something i have not seen this one is carrot and sweet potato you see how good and yummy that looks so amazing so this looks so good just to like pop in the oven or in the air fryer or something and have like with lunch one day or with dinner as a side and then this one is mediterranean vegetables oh my gosh it looks amazing if you've had them before, you can let me know what they're like. And if not, I'll let you guys know how I like them because they look delicious. They totally caught me. I also picked up some frozen broccoli florets just to have with dinner one night. And then I got these buffalo style chicken strips. These I thought would be great just to pop in the air fryer. We use our air fryer all the time. It saves me so much time. I figured this would be great just for Kyle. I don't think I'll eat it because I'm sure it has gluten as the breading. The next thing I got is a cauliflower crust pizza. I thought this one looked really good. It's just roasted vegetables. The last two items that I got, they're the same thing, but it's this pack of frozen sweet potato cubes. I have never tried this brand before, like these kinds. They seemed like one of those nice heading corners type thing where I don't actually have to roast up my own sweet potato and they'll be perfect for like a busy night. So that is everything that I picked up. We spent $148.25 today. I really needed to get some things for dinner and then like snack and all this stuff. So anyway, we ended up spending a little bit extra but that's okay because I think I won't have to go to the store for probably like a week or week and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away and then we'll see what else is on my list. I do not think I have to get through everything, but that's okay. I definitely want to clean the theater room because I think later tonight we're gonna try to watch a show up there. I don't know. That might be it for the day. We'll see. So I just finished putting away all the groceries. I'm gonna head upstairs, our theater room. I haven't even gone in it today, but I went in it yesterday for something. It was a wreck. So I wanna go ahead and tackle that. And then I think I'm gonna have to start dinner after that. So we'll probably call it a day, but I did get quite a bit done. I know there's not, I did not get everything on my list done. 
I'm gonna go ahead upstairs and tidy up the theater room. So I'm not even going to talk about the mess in here. I know it's terrible. It's just one of those spaces in our home. We go in there to hang out as a family and then we leave and kind of close the door. And it's one of those out of sight, out of mind type things. But it obviously was on the list to get done. I'm so happy it got done. But what I did want to talk about actually is we recently painted our theater room and it was a total transformation. It made the biggest impact on the space. I will link that video up here for you guys if you haven't actually seen it. But I've also been playing with the idea of just ways to improve the space, make it a little bit more functional and more inviting and just overall more finished. Anyway, once I have all of my thoughts and my plans put together, I will definitely share that with you guys in an upcoming house projects video. So stay tuned. I have some really fun ideas and I just know this space is going to transform even more. I just can't wait. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested. Thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. I'll have the usual, give me the usual, I'll take the usual. 
That is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the company and all the motivation that it gave you. And I also really hope that it gave a little boost to your mindset and just helps you kind of transition things into more positive for yourself and just continue to build yourself up that way. But as usual in these doing enough videos, I'm not only going to be showing you all the projects that I did accomplish that I actually got tackled, but just as important, I'm going to show you the places that I didn't tackle or the projects that I didn't quite get to because those are the things that typically you don't see in these videos. And I just wanna kind of remind you that it's okay. It's fine if you don't get everything done. Tell yourself that you are doing enough. Those things will always be there. They'll definitely be there tomorrow. You can just add them to your list then. But anyway, thank you so, so much for being here. I hope you guys have the most amazing day and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, so today we have a lot of things on the to-do list. I'm currently in my bedroom and we are going to work on tidying that up because it's a mess. We're also going to be heading into my master bathroom and cleaning that up because that is also a mess. I'm also going to work on my floors because I have been really, really neglecting them. And then once we're done with that, we are actually going to move into the kitchen and living room area. I do have some recipes to share with you guys. It is so incredibly easy, very, very delicious. And then I think if we have time, I'm going to be sharing a gift basket idea with you guys. I think it'll be really fun. So we have a lot on the plans today. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. Before we get going with any of this mess, I need to get a load of laundry started. I'm doing a goal where I can work on one load of laundry a day. We're getting that going right now.
So ever since moving into our new home in the middle of last year, I actually changed up kind of how we did our laundry. Typically we just had like our whites and then everything else. And now because we do hang up a lot of our clothes to dry, I decided to go ahead and separate our clothes into two different laundry baskets. So now we wash all of the clothes that go into the dryer into one laundry basket and then the rest go into a laundry basket that all get hung up. And that just makes the process a lot easier for us. It's worked out really, really well. And it kind of ends up taking a little bit of the thought out of laundry. You just end up knowing what ones get hung up and then what loads go right into the dryer. And then what I do is I just hang them all up in the laundry room and then I bring them right into our closet so there's no extra steps. I don't have to spend a lot of time later on like kind of sorting through the clothes. They're just already done. Once they dry in our closet, then we can put them away where they actually go, like hanging them up on the right shelves. So now that everyone is all done being sick, knock on wood, hopefully we are done for a while, but I just wanted to go through and change out our bedding completely. So I want to change the sheets, the comforter, everything. And then I'm also just going to go ahead and toss them into the wash with the rest of the whites that I had started washing just a few minutes earlier. Every time I use this little duster, it is a reusable duster and I've had it for years, but every time I use it, I always get questions about it. So I did get it from the Grove Collaborative website, but I believe you can also pick it up on Amazon if you don't order from Grove Collaborative. So I will have it linked down below, both through the Grove Collaborative website, so you can go ahead and get some free goodies if you order from them. And then also I do have it saved in my Amazon favorites under the cleaning section if you want to order from there as well. But I love it because it does cling onto the dust really, really well, and it's also reusable. So beautiful And I'm so lucky 
lucky to be yours And you're taking me So if you remember several videos back, I actually have a large arch mirror that I'm going to be putting next to the dresser, kind of between the dresser and the dog bed. And so naturally I'm going to be taking this other mirror off. I never really loved the little mirror that we have on our dresser, but it just kind of was there for now until we got the other one. But we are not planning on putting a TV in our bedroom. So I would love to hear if you guys have any ideas on what to put above our dresser. I'm kind of drawing a blank. I think I might just try to find like some artwork, but even that I'm kind of struggling with anything. So if you guys have like any general ideas or if there's something specific that you love, I would love to see like any links or just any ideas in the comments it would help me out a ton So now that my bedroom is all clean, I wanted to tackle my neglected floors. I have been using this for the past few weeks now, and I have been so excited to share it with you because I remember the very first time I used it, my jaw was dropped the entire time. So the Roborock Dyad vacuums your floors and mops them at the same time. If you have lots of hard floors in your home, you definitely are going to want one of these. It literally cuts your vacuum and mop time in half because it does it all at the same time. And I also wanted to note that it does do really well with pet hair since you guys know we have a lot of that. And when you're done, you just set it back on the docking station. It will not only charge automatically, but it also self cleans its rollers. It's kind of mind blowing, but it's so cool. And that way you don't have to do any extra work. So if you are wanting to pick one up for your home, I will have the link for that down in the description box. can't tell what's wrong or right should i go without saying goodbye all i know is i need to be somewhere else to set me free i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be
So as you've seen, I'm just using my e-cloth in basically all of my bathroom. It just works so well. So I'm using the general purpose e-cloth to wash everything down. And then I'm using the glass and polishing cloth to dry everything. And it gets everything totally streak free with only just water. But if you want to see one of the most like satisfying, really messy to sparkling clean. I shared all of like the dirty, grimy shower stuff. I really had let it go in that one. I will go ahead and link up above for you guys, but it was just one of the realest like real life moments video ever. And I am happy to say that ever since then, I haven't let our shower get that bad. So hopefully it won't slip or anything, but yeah, definitely check out that video if you haven't already. It will give you some crazy cleaning motivation. Club will go all night. I see you in the back, the mood is right. If I just had your number, I would let you know how I feel. You are so, so good to have my bedroom and bathroom nice and clean, like top to bottom. It just feels so good. Now we are in the living room and da 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 the kitchen of course it won't take me long to tidy up the living room really i just have to literally like tidy it up hello benji <laughs> saying hi and then the kitchen won't take too long i don't think other than the dishes i don't know how it got this way but it did so we're gonna tackle that and then we're gonna get to cooking i'm so excited to share that recipe with you guys so just continue on with me don't want this night to end Yeah, about time we stop pretending Come home with me Let's write a history Tonight I'll make you see It's all about us It's all about us As we're dancing close together Making love It's all about us It's all about us There's some magic in your eyes Can't get enough Feel your head Do you ever just watch these videos and feel like, dang, I really wish that this actually went as fast as these videos do. I mean, I even know exactly how long this took because I was the one filming it, but man, it can just take so long to clean. And these videos are amazing because they're fast paced and they're motivating, but you're just left with like, I really wish that was real life. I really wish we could just tackle our whole house in like 30, 40 minutes and be done with everything. I just wish I could run around the house that fast. It would be incredible. I think if there were one chore that I could pick to really speed up would have to be like folding laundry. I don't know what it is. It's one of my least favorites. Actually, you guys also know mopping is one of my least favorite chores. I don't know why, like I don't mind vacuuming, but mopping is something that I just do not enjoy at all. Now I don't really feel like I have to worry about that because I can just vacuum and just know that I'm mopping at the same time, but definitely I would love to speed up laundry. If there were one chore in your life that you could just speed up and go through in like super fast motions, what would it be for you? Would it be dishes, laundry, cleaning the bathrooms? Actually, now that I think about it, I might go for cleaning the bathrooms because we do have three boys, so clearly those are gonna be a mess, but I don't know. It would either be a tie between laundry or bathrooms for me.
I cannot wait to get our sink replaced with a single basin sink. I am so excited. We're kind of waiting on a lot of different things. Honestly, a lot of it is just timing. And then of course, budget. We're trying to make sure that we like have all of our ducks in the row before we start any of our kitchen renovations in here. But we plan to do a lot, like maybe refinishing the cabinets. And then we're planning to level out our island, just like we had in our Utah home. We really liked that. And we felt like that kind of served us a little bit better than this two-tiered island does. And then of course, one of the big things is replacing this sink with a single basin. We got a single basin sink in our South Dakota house whenever we refinished that kitchen and it made such a huge difference. And so we did the same thing when we moved to Utah. And again, I just loved it so much. We have currently been living in this house, I wanna say maybe eight months or so, ever since like middle of May in 2021, we moved. And honestly, every single time I have to wash pots and pans in here, which is basically every day, I just cannot wait to get that single basin sink again. It's just made such a big difference having that. So hopefully we can get it together and kind of get that done soon because I cannot wait for the moment when I can finally wash our pots and pans in a single basin sink and just not have to fight with this little center divider thing. These kitchen towels, I'm sure you guys have seen me use them in a bunch of my videos, and I don't think I've actually ever talked about them with you guys before, so they are from Bloom Towels. I love their towels so much. They're really, really absorbent. They also come in a lot of different colors and styles and varieties, and then they also have some different sizes. So I just find myself always like gravitating to those and always using them as my kitchen towels. I will have a link down below for you guys, and if you use my code, I believe it will give you 15% off. So if you are in the market for some new kitchen towels, definitely check them out. They're just a small business, and I really, really love them. All those things we did back then
I feel like this looks like I have not cleaned my stove in like a week or so, but realistically, I clean it about every day. Not necessarily like this. A lot of times it's just like a quicker wipe down, but especially if I do happen to clean with oil or something, the splatter is crazy and it just gets looking pretty rough very quickly, like within a day or so. But all I'm doing to clean this is just using my e-cloth general purpose cloth to kind of wipe everything down with water. And then once I do that, I'm just going in with the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner. This stuff I have used for years. I also have a few other favorites. I really like the Bon Ami powder, and then I also love the Pink Stuff Cleaner, so I feel like all of them work very similarly. They just have like a little bit of grit, enough to really clean your surface, but not enough to scratch it or anything. And then once I get that all scrubbed off, I am just wiping it down with my e-cloth again with water, and then drying it and shining it with my glass and polishing cloth, and it looks good as new. Like I said, I've had the Roborock Dyad for a few weeks now and I've been loving it. Every single time it just still amazes me. But anyway, I wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite type of music and what kind of music do you like hearing like on these kind of videos? I would love to know if you are more into country or you're more into like the folk music that I've played here and there or the pop music or if you just prefer like more instrumental music with no lyrics. Let me know kind of what your preference is. I'm always trying to make sure that I'm sharing the content that you guys would like to see. So I would love to know kind of what your style is and what you're really excited to hear and kind of how you enjoy to watch these videos. I definitely do like to switch it up sometimes. Sometimes I do like a little bit more upbeat. Sometimes I do a little bit more fast paced. Other times it's like very calm and peaceful, especially when I do more relaxing after dark videos, which you guys always tell me you love. But anyway, just let me know in the comments kind of what your favorite music is to listen to and specifically what kind of music you would like to see in future videos.
now that everything is all nice and clean it feels so good right now especially having like multiple rooms clean at once just feels really good thankful for it anyway um now that we have everything all cleaned we are going to be in the kitchen i'm going to share some delicious recipes with you guys and these are super simple ones really easy first it's going to be like a lemon chicken sheet pan dinner with asparagus it's one pan meal so it's super easy for cleanup and it's really really delicious and then the second thing that i'm going to share is going to be twice baked potatoes it's not like a crazy extravagant recipe or anything if you haven't had twice baked potatoes before they are so good it's like the perfect mix between mashed potatoes and baked potato all wrapped into one delicious little bite it's so yummy so i'm gonna share that with you guys and then i'm also gonna have a dessert for you guys again it's not like anything crazy but it'll be delicious so i'm kind of gonna like balance and juggle between the three recipes because they'll all be working at the same time and once we're done with that i'm also going to be sharing a little gift basket idea that's perfect for valentine's day or an anniversary or anything like that that you want to give to somebody whether they're sick or like quarantining or if they just don't want to go out for valentine's day or for an anniversary or for like a special occasion this will be perfect to give to them you can just bring it right to their doorstep they can go ahead and have like a meal in a basket and it's just really special i'm going to go ahead and share all of that with you guys so let's jump to it. Okay, so this is what I mean by like, I'm gonna be bouncing around between the recipes. The potatoes, I want to go ahead and get started first because you first have to bake your potatoes. And then as soon as I get that done, I'm actually gonna start working on chopping up the strawberries for the dessert because those have to kind of like sit in the fridge for a little bit. And then we'll start working on the main dish and then jump back into some of the other dishes. Bear with me, but as always, I will have some recipe cards so that you can go ahead and just screenshot the recipe card print it out save it to your phone save it to pinterest whatever you want and then you can always like kind of refer back to it so bear with me but it's gonna be worth it For the twice baked potatoes, you can decide how many you want to make. I'm going to be using four medium to large potatoes. That's going to feed our entire family and then also give us some leftovers. And I'm just going to be taking the easy route. I'm starting of course by washing them off and then I'm going to be cooking them in my Instant Pot. If you use an Instant Pot, it kind of depends on how large your potatoes are, but I typically go for about 15 minutes give or take a few minutes, depending on, again, how their size is. If you don't wanna go this route, you can, of course, microwave them or pop them in the oven until they are nice and tender. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna start chopping up some of our strawberries for some delicious strawberry shortcakes so they can start juicing up in the fridge. So the strawberry shortcake can be made so many different ways. I've made it with a chocolate cake. Of course, you can go like the more traditional way with a pound cake or an angel food cake. You can also make your own cake and do like a gluten-free option if that's what you need. I actually just wasn't going to eat this one tonight, so I didn't do that. I just went with the really easy route and just found a pre-made angel food cake in our bakery. But to start on this delicious dessert, you're just going to want to do this a few hours ahead of time, and you're going to just wash off your strawberries and then slice them up. Then you're going to add them into an airtight container and also sprinkle some sugar on top. You don't need to use a whole lot of sugar, but what that's going to do is actually pull some of the moisture out of the strawberries. It will sweeten them just slightly, but mostly you're doing it to pull that extra moisture out and just create a bit of juice to drizzle over your delicious angel food cake. So now I'm just going to let these sit, but I'm going to pull them out of the fridge every now and then and just kind of give them like a good shake and it'll just help kind of break them down a little bit and create like more juices so that you can pour it and drizzle it over the delicious strawberry shortcake. Right 
Next, we're gonna start on the chicken for the chicken and asparagus dish. So I'm gonna turn you around and kind of show you what we're gonna do. First thing, we're going to make like a little sauce or drizzle to put over the chicken. Then we're gonna save half of it and put it over the asparagus and we add that later on. So for the sauce, you're going to need some garlic, herbs de Provence. Also, we're going to need lemon zest and lemon juice. We're also going to need some honey, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Once you have your little drizzle all made and mixed up into a bowl, go ahead and grab a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. And then you're going to go ahead and just set your chicken breast on top of that. Then you'll take half of that drizzle that you made just a minute ago and drizzle that right on top of your chicken breast, being sure to save half of that for the asparagus. Then you're going to pop it into a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until it's mostly cooked. Now for the asparagus, you are just going to start by prepping them. Of course, you want to snap or cut off the very ends of them and then you're going to set those aside and go ahead and drizzle the rest of that sauce on top of the asparagus and I'm also just taking a minute right here to cut up one of the lemons so that I'm ready to use that when the chicken is about ready to pull out The chicken is in the oven. We're going to wait to add the asparagus until the chicken is like almost done. The potatoes are all done cooking. They have done a natural release. You can definitely make baked potatoes in the oven or in the microwave, however you want. I'm just opting for the quick option, which is the Instant Pot. So these are all done. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out, start letting them cool, I'll probably work on something else while these are cooling, and then we will start actually making the rest of the potatoes. Me stone cold. While the potatoes are just cooling, I am going to start cooking my bacon. You can do this in the oven. You can honestly get bacon bits if you don't want to bother with the bacon part. I am just using my Instant Pot since I already have it out and it's like the cleanest way to do it, I think, for me. So I'm just chopping it up into little bite-sized pieces and then going ahead and sauteing that and then I'll be setting that aside and moving on to something else. Out of luck this time, I'm stuck in reverse. Now we are actually moving away from the dinner that I am making and we are going to start working on the little gift basket. I'm going to be making some chocolate covered strawberries. That's what we're jumping into now while everything else is kind of cooking. Time, I'm stuck in reverse. I gotta get away now, but I can't see. So chocolate covered strawberries are one of those treats that seem sometimes like they're a little bit more confusing or a little bit more in depth than they really are. 
Truly, they are one of the easiest things to make. All you have to do is take some chocolate chips, put them in a microwave safe bowl, and then microwave them in 30 second increments, just kind of stirring between each time, and then pop them back in for another 30 seconds until they are all melty. Then you are going to want to make sure that you wash and dry all of your strawberries. Whenever you make these, you really want to make sure that you're picking big, juicy red strawberries. They just look the best and they taste the most delicious. And then you're literally just going to dip and swirl your strawberries into the chocolate dipping sauce and then set them on a piece of wax paper to harden up. You can leave them as they are or you can add like sprinkles or something fun on them, but that's all there is to it. Got me stone cold. You got me stone cold. Next, we're moving back over to our chicken. So once the chicken is almost all the way cooked through, you're just going to add in your asparagus that you've been marinating for the last 20 minutes and then drizzle any of the leftover lemon sauce on top. And then to finish it up, you're just going to add on those beautiful lemon slices on top. This is one of those dishes that really doesn't take a whole lot of effort on your part, but it's definitely a showstopper and people are just gonna be wowed when they see what you've made. So all you're gonna do at this point is just put it back into the oven, turn it on low broil, for about 10 minutes or so until everything is nice and cooked up and the chicken is beautifully cooked. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty. We are making some really good progress and now we are to the point of actually pouring out the potatoes. So basically you're just going to be taking most of the insides of the baked potato out and kind of scooping those out onto a bowl or a cutting board. And then once you're done, you're gonna set those aside and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so finally we are to the point of actually making the insides of the twice baked potato. I have some bacon that we cooked up in the Instant Pot, cheese, green onions, salt and pepper, butter, I love adding rosemary, and then I'm also gonna add in some sour cream and some milk. You're basically going to be making like a loaded mashed potato and then putting it back inside. Putting cheese on top and then baking it and it's the most delicious thing ever. So this is one of those things where I don't really have like a specific recipe for this. I mostly just kind of put everything in as I feel and I'm not really measuring a lot, but I will do my best to put all the estimates on the recipe card for you guys just so you kind of have something to go off of. But basically just make like a super creamy mashed potato with all the loaded goodness inside. And you can totally do this by hand, but I'm just taking the quicker, easier route and I'm using my KitchenAid just to kind of mash the potatoes up a little bit and then also get everything nice and whipped up. Once you have the loaded mashed potato mixture made up, you're just going to add that right into that little canal that you've created by scooping out the insides of the potato and then you're just going to top it with some cheese and then I just like to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 300 degrees or until everything is nice and warm and the cheese is all melty. We are just going to pop these into a 300 or 350 degree oven and you're just gonna have to watch them. You really just want to make sure that the insides are all warmed through and then also the cheese is nice and melty and bubbly. I'm gonna start by doing like probably 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for the potatoes just to finish toasting up, I wanted to start working on the Valentine's Day basket, an at-home date night gift basket. This is going to be so much fun. I just picked up a basket. This is such a nice one. Just from Dollar Tree. Some tissue paper just to kind of jazz it up. I also got <laughs> this little balloon just for fun. Basically what we're going to have is garlic bread, some spaghetti noodles, some delicious pasta sauce. When I'm ready to deliver it, I will add in ground beef, some Parmesan cheese to top the salad and spaghetti, some ground beef. Then I got some salad dressing to go with the salad. And then some of these chocolate covered strawberries we'll just add into here, all nice and cute.
turned out so cute. I love how it turned out. I think this will be perfect. This way they can do like an at-home date night, not have to worry about Valentine's Day. So fun. Who would not love to get that? I know you guys probably already forgot about this. You were just thinking, oh, we're all done cooking. We're almost done, but wait, there's more. We are just gonna finish quickly the strawberry shortcake. Again, like I had mentioned earlier, I just got a store-bought angel food cake, but you can definitely make your own. And all you're going to do is go ahead and cut it into little bite-sized pieces and then top it with some delicious strawberries, the ones that we made earlier. And you can see how delicious and juicy they are. And then again, you can make your own whipped cream. I was actually planning on making my own whipped cream, but I was kind of running short on time since we had football on this night. And so I just had Kyle run out and grab some canned whipped cream. But either way, you cannot go Wrong. This is such an amazing, delicious dessert, and it's super quick to put together. Quickly had to leave for Luke's football game. We came back to a little bit of a mess, mostly just dishes and wiping down the counter, but I don't wanna leave it like this because I don't wanna let it be like how it was earlier today. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that and then call it a night. Here I'm just doing my nightly dishes. As you know, I don't always do this, but I do try my very best to do it every single night and I definitely feel like I get off to a better start the next day if I did do all the dishes in the night before. That way we don't wake up already running behind, but there is something that is so peaceful and calming about doing dishes at night and just kind of shutting down the house and just kind of moving a little bit slower in the evening once everyone's asleep or going to bed or just kind of winding down. But you guys will have to let me know what you thought about the home making portion of today's video if you like how I filmed it where I really just kind of filmed it in real time of you know kind of jumping around from recipe to recipe or if you would really appreciate just kind of sticking to one recipe and then moving on to the next either way is fine I've shared videos in both ways before but as always I just want to hear your feedback and just kind of see like what you really thought about that
But either way, I do hope you guys enjoyed all of those yummy, delicious recipes. And if you decide to try them out, please let me know what you thought of them. I would love to hear your feedback on them. And as always, if you do make them, definitely tag me on your socials with a picture or just a little blurb about what you made and how you liked it. some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness give me a little faith something to make me stronger someone who could like the way then you came to me and you gave me reason uh -uh 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 -uh. i almost can't believe it every time we touch i feel So that is going to be everything for today's super long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got lots of motivation, enjoyed the company today, and also got some new recipe inspiration. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you guys. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Put your